Welcome to another test from the DMV practice tests. In this video we are going to test Alaska DMV practice test. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests. Question number 1. Solid yellow line separate. A. The center lane from other traffic. B. Bicycle lanes from regular traffic. C. Traffic lanes on one-way streets. D. Vehicles going in opposite directions. Question number 2. When you approach a sharp curve in the road, you should a. Start braking as soon as you enter the curve. B. Start braking before you enter the curve. C. Accelerate into the curve and brake out of it. D. Accelerate through the whole curve to increase traction. Question number 3. Backing up your vehicle is A. Not dangerous if you have a helper. B. Always dangerous. C. Only dangerous in large vehicles. D. Illegal. Question number 4. Where should you start making a U-turn when driving on a divided street with multiple lanes in your direction? A. On the shoulder. B. In the left lane. C. In the median. D. Any of the above. Question number 5. When planning to pass other vehicles, you should. A. Assume they will maintain a constant speed. B. Assume they will let you pass if you use your turn signal. C. Not assume they will make space for you to return to your lane. D. Assume they will start braking when they see you trying to pass. Question number 6. If you become angry or upset, you should A. Control your emotions while driving. B. Park the car and cool down before driving on. C. Speed up so you can reach your final destination faster. D. Choose any of the above options. Question number 7. Which of the following would best improve traffic flow? A. Using public transportation. B. Eliminating the space cushion. C. Raising the speed limit. D. Banning cyclists from the road. Question number 8. You must yield the right of way at an intersection to A. The car in the intersection. B. The car on your right. C. The car in the opposite lane of traffic. D. The car on your left. Question number 8. When you are driving slowly in the freeway fast lane, blocking traffic which wishes to pass, you should A. Change lanes to the right when it is safe to do so. B. Only change lanes when there are five or more vehicles behind you. C. Not change lanes when you are driving the speed limit. D. Turn your emergency lights on to signal other vehicles that they need to use another lane. Question number 10. Safely backing up your vehicle includes all of the following except A. Looking over your right shoulder as you back up. B. Checking behind your vehicle before you get in. C. Tapping your horn before you back up. D. Backing up slowly and being prepared to stop. Question number 11. 
Question number 11. If you are repeatedly convicted of a traffic violation, a. The DMV may consider an action against your driving privileges. b. You may request a hearing. c. Both of the above may happen. Question number 12. You are driving on a two-way street and want to turn left at the corner. Give the right of way to A. Pedestrians on a sidewalk waiting for a walk signal. B. Vehicles stopped at the red light. C. Any vehicle coming towards you. Question number 13. If you are driving on a road with only one lane in each direction and you want to pass, but a curve ahead blocks your view, you must A. Not pass the other vehicle. B. Signal longer than 5 seconds to pass safely. C. Increase your speed to pass safely. D. Honk your horn to make other drivers slow down. Question number 14. You come to an intersection which is blocked by other traffic. You should A. Go slowly until the traffic ahead moves. B. Get as close as possible to the other car. C. Stay out of the intersection until you can pass through. D. Sound your horn to make the cars move up. Question number 15. You should always use your emergency flashers when A. You are double parked in a traffic lane. B. You are parked on the side of the road in heavy fog. C. Your vehicle has broken down on the roadway. D. You are driving at night and you feel tired. Question number 16. If you are parked parallel to the curb, you may get out of the car on the traffic side. A. During the daytime when other drivers can see you. B. When the traffic light at the closest intersection turns red. C. When you won't interfere with oncoming vehicles. D. If you use your four-way flasher first. Question number 17. If you have a BSC of 0.10%, you are blank times more likely to cause an accident than if you were sober. A. 3. B. 5. C. 7. D. 10. Question number 18. If your vehicle gas pedal sticks, you should a. Shift into neutral and apply the brakes. B. Apply the parking brake immediately. C. Pull up the pedal with your toe. D. Pump your brakes quickly. Question number 19. Which of the following might cause other drivers not to see you? A. Intersections or driveways blocked by trees. Vehicles or buildings. B. Vehicle windows covered with frost, snow or ice or sudden glare. C. Other drivers are backing out of a driveway or parking spot. D. All of the above. Question number 20. What is the only effective way to reduce your blood alcohol content back? A. Drinking coffee. B. Exercising. C. Allow your body time to get rid of alcohol. D. Taking a cold shower. Question number 21. When the traffic signal shows a green ball, you must still yield to all of the following except A. Vehicles still in the intersection. B. Pedestrians still in the intersection. C. Oncoming traffic going straight, if you are making a left turn. 
D. Oncoming traffic making a left turn, if you are going straight. Question number 22. What is the average cost of your first DUI? A. $10,788. B. $599. C. $15,799. D. $22,740. Question number 23. Which statement is true regarding texting while driving? A. Texting while driving is prohibited by law. B. Texting while driving is allowed in some parts of Alaska. C. Texting while driving is allowed in some emergency situations. D. Texting while driving is okay as long as you do not get caught. Question number 24. Which of these should you not do before backing? A. All of the listed answers. B. Look out your windows and in your mirrors before backing. C. Yielding the right of way to an approaching vehicle. D. Opening the door and sticking your head out for a better view. Question number 25. The sound from your car horn should be audible for at least how many feet? A. 250. B. 200. C. 150. D. 100. Question number 26. Which of the following statements is true? A. Bicyclists are difficult to see in traffic, so they should be extra aware of drivers on the road. B. People over 40 are not allowed to ride bicycles. C. Bicyclists never need to wear helmets. D. Bicyclists have to drive at the maximum speed limit. Question number 27. What should you not do when changing lanes? A. Use your mirrors to check for other vehicles. B. Change lanes and quickly as you can. C. Check your blind spots for vehicles. D. Use your turn signal to show which lane you plan to go into. Question number 28. How many points does the driver of an oversized vehicle accrue if caught 3 to 9 miles per hour over the oversized speed limit? A. 8 points. B. 1 point. C. 6 points. D. 2 points. Question number 29. When does an applicant not have to take the driver's test? A. There is never a time when you are not required to take the driving test. B. Drivers of sedan cars are exempt from having to take a driver's test. C. Drivers over the age of 35 do not need to take the driver's test. D. Individuals who possess a valid license from another state do not need to complete a driver's test. Question number 30. Which of the following is not true of guide signs in Alaska? A. The signs give directions to various destinations. B. A guide sign gives mileage estimates. C. A guide sign tells you the current speed limit. D. A guide sign has local place names. Question number 31. Which type of violation accumulates the most points on your Alaska State driving record? A. Driving while intoxicated slash under the influence. B. All of the listed answers. C. Fleeing or attempting to elude a police officer. D. 
Reckless driving. E. Speed contest. Racing. Question number 32. According to Alaska state law, which of the following acts results in revocation of your driving privileges? A. Driving while license is suspended. B. Reckless driving. C. All of the listed answers. D. Driving while under the influence. Question number 33. Which of the following is not a requirement when towing multiple vehicles with an recreational vehicle? A. Towing vehicle has three or more axles. B. Weight of the towing vehicle is more than 15,000 pounds. C. Towing vehicle is equipped with an air brake system. D. Vehicle being towed equipped with an air brake system. E. You are licensed for large vehicle towing. Question number 34. When a school bus stops on a two-lane road and turns on its flashing signal, which lanes have to stop? A. The vehicles in the opposite lane is the school bus. B. None of the listed answers. C. Both answers and B. D. The vehicles in the same lane as the school bus. Question number 35. How many passengers are allowed in the front seat of a vehicle? A. 3. B. 1. C. 4. D. 2. E. No more than the seat was designed for. Question number 36. If you speed 20 miles per hour or more over the speed limit, how many points will be entered on your Alaska driving record? A. 4 points. B. 5 points. C. 6 points. D. 3 points. Question number 37. When backing up, it is suggested that you should not exceed what speed? A. 3 miles per hour. B. 5 miles per hour. C. 10 miles per hour. D. 20 miles per hour. E. 15 miles per hour. Question number 38. Which of the following is a proper step to help you slow down if your brakes fail? A. Turn steering wheel sharply. B. Use parking brake. C. Remove key from ignition. D. Steer car into soft brush or bushes. E. Shift into reverse. Question number 39. Which of the following documents cannot be used as a form of identification when applying for a driver's license or permit? A. A document verifying proof of residence like a bank statement or utility bill works as valid identification. B. Your social security number via social security card or waiver is a necessary form of identification. C. A valid United States passport is a valid form of identification. D. Your high school transcript can work as proof of identity in extreme circumstances. E. A birth certificate or other official form that proves your date of birth. Question number 40. Which of the following is not a requirement for an Alaska driver's license? A. The license must be signed in order to be valid. B. You must be a U.S. citizen. C. Out-of-state licenses must be surrendered before an Alaska license will be issued. D. You must be at least 16 years of age to have a license. Question number 41. 
Which of the following actions is most helpful when changing lanes? A. Don't check your mirrors. B. Text your friend for directions. C. Drive faster than the maximum speed limit. D. Don't cruise in the blind spot of the vehicle ahead of you. Question number 42. Passing other vehicles is not allowed when approaching within 100 feet of which of these? A. A school bus that is turned on its stop signal. B. A school that is currently in session. C. A posted narrow bridge and a school bus that is turned on its stop signal. D. A posted narrow bridge. E. None of the listed answers. Question number 43. Why are there cones, tubes, and barriers in a work area? A. To keep drivers from watching the construction workers. B. To encourage the driver to speed up to get out of the work zone sooner. C. They don't serve any particular purpose. D. To safely guide drivers through the work zone. Question number 44. With lights are illuminating the rear license plate, the numbers on the plate must be visible for at least blank feet. A. 100. B. 50. C. 25. D. 10. Question number 45. What is the best way to keep your child safe when taking them along in the car? A. Hold them tightly in your arms. B. Use a child restraint system. C. Replace your seatbelt with a racing seatbelt. D. Use a seatbelt. E. Use a double seatbelt. Question number 46. How much greater is the striking power of a vehicle when you double its speed from 20 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour? A. When the speed of a vehicle is increased from 20 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour, the striking power of the vehicle is tripled. B. The striking power of a vehicle would be doubled in this instance. C. The striking power of a vehicle is quadrupled when the speed of the vehicle is increased from 20 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour. D. The striking power does not change when the speed of the vehicle is doubled. Question number 47. Who must have an Alaska driver's license? A. Every one person over the age of 13 needs an Alaska driver's license. B. No one needs an Alaska driver's license to operate a vehicle in Alaska. C. Every person who operates a vehicle on the streets and door highways of Alaska must have a valid driver's license unless such person fits into an exemption category. D. Every person who operates a motor vehicle on streets and highways of Alaska must have a valid Alaska driver's license. E. Every person regardless of age should have an Alaska driver's license. Question number 48. What should you do when your vehicle becomes disabled while driving? A. Park all four wheels off the travel portion of the highway if possible. B. All of the above. C. If available, set out flares at night. D. Turn on parking lights or four-way flashers at night. E. Use starter and low gear to pull standard shift car to shoulder. Question number 49. You should do which of the following when riding a bicycle on the road? A. Follow the rules of the road and ignore traffic signs. B. Follow the rules of the road. C. Weave through cars if they are all stopped. D. Ignore traffic signs. Question 
Question number 50. How many classes of driver's licenses does the state of Alaska have? A. 4. B. 6. C. 9. D. 3. Question number 51. Which of the following is a helpful safety tip? A. In cold weather carry a full tank of gas. B. All of the listed answers. C. Stay well behind another vehicle to avoid rain splattering on your windshield. D. Carry a small bottle of detergent in the glove compartment so if it begins to rain you can rub a small amount on the windshield to cut the oil film. E. Drive on tires with good tread. Question number 52. How long will your driver's license be revoked for using a fraudulent driver's license to obtain alcohol if it is your first offense? A. 180 days. B. 1 year. C. 3 months. D. 6 months. E. 60 days. Question number 53. Which of the following is not true of guide signs in Alaska? A. A guide sign gives mileage estimates. B. A guide sign has local place names. C. The signs give directions to various destinations. D. A guide sign tells you the current speed limit. Question number 54. What should you do when a traffic light is flashing red? A. Stop at the light and proceed when the way is clear. B. Drive straight through the light since you have the right of way. C. Stop at the light and count to five before going. D. Stop at the light and wait for it to stop blinking. E. Slow down some and look both ways before proceeding though. Question number 55. What is the maximum fine can a minor incur if he was operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated? A. There is no fine. B. $1,000. C. $250. D. $750. E. $1,500. Question number 56. Which of the following should you do when approaching an intersection? A. Speed up so you can get there first. B. Only speed up if there is a yellow light. C. Reduce your speed to a reasonable and proper rate. D. Maintain your current speed to keep up with traffic. Question number 57. Which of the following should you do when leaving the expressway? A. Stop and proceed when traffic is clear. B. Park on the shoulder if you are lost. C. Back up if you miss an exit. D. Keep moving while exiting the expressway. Question number 58. Which of the following is not an appropriate action if your right wheel goes off the pavement? A. Take your foot off the gas pedal. B. Grip the steering wheel firmly. C. Brake in gentle, intermittent amounts. D. Return to the pavement at a high speed. Question number 59. Why should drivers exercise greater care when bicyclists are riding nearby? A. Because bicyclists are difficult to see in traffic. B. Answers and B. C. All of the listed answers. D. Because Alaska State rewards drivers who are kind to bicyclists. E. Because bicyclists do not have a structure to protect them.
Question number 60. Who is more acutely affected by glare recovery? A. No one is affected by glare recovery. B. More experienced drivers are affected by glare recovery. C. New or inexperienced drivers in their mid-teens. D. Everyone is affected by glare recovery equally. E. Drivers of poor health and older drivers are affected more intensely. Question number 61. Which of the following is a useful safety tip? A. All of the listed answers. B. Never run a vehicle in a closed garage. C. Always have plenty of fresh air in the vehicle. D. Make sure the vehicle's exhaust system is in good condition. Question number 62. According to the Alaska Driver's Manual, if you are driving and encounter a flooded area you should blank. A. Drive very quickly so the water will not get into your engine. B. Call the police. C. Park on the side of the road and warn others of the flooded area. D. Turn around and find another route to get to your location. Question number 63. If your driving privileges have been suspended in another state, what must you provide in order to obtain an Alaska license? A. Written proof from the state showing that the suspension has been terminated. B. Nothing. You are not required to provide any documentation in order to obtain an Alaska license. C. A recent driving report from your insurer. D. A letter from your employer endorsing your driving ability. Question number 64. With lights are illuminating the rear license plate, the numbers on the plate must be visible for at least blank feet. A. 10. B. 25. C. 100. D. 50. Question number 65. What should drivers not do in case of a fire emergency? A. Loosen dirt with tire tool to use dirt for putting out the fire. B. Depending on what's available, apply mud, dirt, dust, water or snow. C. Run away and leave the fire burning for somebody else to deal with. D. Check nearby areas for water. Question number 66. When backing up, it is suggested that you should not exceed what speed? A. 10 miles per hour. B. 20 miles per hour. C. 3 miles per hour. D. 5 miles per hour. E. 15 miles per hour. Question number 67. What should you not do if your accelerator gets jammed? A. Use your brakes to slow down the vehicle. B. Shift your vehicle into the neutral position. C. Concentrate on your steering and the road around you. D. Continue to slap the pedal hard with your foot to dislodge it. E. Slam on the emergency brake to immediately stop the vehicle. Question number 68. Which of the following options are you not required to follow before resuming travel after being behind a stopped school bus? A. The stop sign on the bus is retracted. B. Wait for a few minutes and resume travel. C. The red flashing lights on the bus have stopped flashing. D. Wait for the bus to resume travel. Question number 69. Change to low beam headlights within blank feet or more of an oncoming vehicle. A. 450. B. 500. C. 200. 
D. 750. E. 800. Question number 70. Passing other vehicles is not allowed when approaching within 100 feet of which of these? A. A posted narrow bridge and a school bus that is turned on its stop signal. B. None of the listed answers. C. A school bus that is turned on its stop signal. D. A posted narrow bridge. E. A school that is currently in session. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests.